Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and welcome to Abyssal Reflections. Yeah, this is a horror game you get on Steam. I'll have a link in the description. You can get it right now for $2.99. Yeah. Abyssal Reflections is a short, atmospheric, depressing, non-jumpscare game where you go through a total of eight different time periods. You have to take care of your owners, and how you relate to them is up to you. Yeah. So I think we play as, like, an AI or a machine. And we're supposed to be, like, the caregiver to these humans. Or something? Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's do it. Boop. Week one, morning. Ah, ah. Synchronization, uh, updating objective system done, checking system status done. Good morning. Hi. Buenas noches. I guess it would be Buenos Dias. <laughs> uh, Aquaserve 2000 OS. Okay, your job is to take care of the owners and fulfill their objectivity. Okay. Let's see, Frank. Uh, the status of your owner or designated subject or designated subjects to take care of is marked next to their names. Okay. So Frank is doing fine. If you need to know something about them, each member has a more info button next to them where you can find out more about them, okay? Open case. Uh, to open your case, use the open case button. <laughs> okay. If you want to go back, enter your case, and it will close itself automatically. If it's crashing, just exit and enter the case again. Okay. You can find your objectives by clicking on the objectives button. There you will find different objectives. Morning and evening ones are always the same every week. But since there are only universal... Since they are only universal, they are always different and depend on the current situation. When you're done, use the end the day button to end the day. Okay. Best regards. Blah, blah, blah. Tech. Got it. Okay. So we have Thomas, Richard, and Frank. Who am I? Okay. More info. Who is Thomas? Got to introduce you to one of our associates. If you can even call him that. Thomas Blackwood. That's a name you'll, you'll remember. Even if you wish, you never have to meet him. Okay. Uh, Thomas didn't come from an academic family of scientists, but rather from a darker underworld where money collides with unlawful practices. Uh, he was a surgeon, or rather a guy you might call a fixer for legal operations. Thomas began his career as a small-time scammer. Damn. Uh, acquiring organs and performing various illegal surgical procedures for local mafia and gangs. Sec. Uh, his reputation was built on arrogance and danger. He never hesitated when it came to acquiring wealth and power. Now, in our underworld, or underwater isolated laboratory, Thomas is our specialist. I'm not sure whether to trust his skills or his morals. Either way, we might need his talents, at least initially. Okay. Uh, how about Richard? Who is Richard? I must in introduce you to another person who has stayed with us. His name is Richard, but that's all we have on him. He's a quiet and distrustful man who keeps to himself and looks after his own interests. On the surface, he may look like a normal person, but underneath the surface, there is something much more complex. He claims to be an ordinary hunter with a happy family, but the truth is much more complicated. We looked him up and found out that Richard is a former army veteran with no family. At least not an actual one. Though it may not seem like it, his past is marked by rough experiences that have taught him to distrust anyone around him. He never reveals his cards, and his gaze is always observant. He is also uh, he is also known by several names, such as John, David, and Michael. Okay, so if I hear any of those names, I need to remember it's Richard. <clears throat> when he introduced himself, he told us how he would he told us he was Richard. Beware of contact with Richard. His military training and expertise make him a dangerous adversary and could become a key figure on your journey to the grave. Interesting. Also, I recognize this character model in one of my uh, four or five random horror games. The shop clerk was this model. Okay, Frank. Let me introduce you to Frank. He's the kindest character among us, even though it might not seem so at first glance. Frank comes from tough circumstances, living in an area where every day presents a challenge. 
His life has been marked by a harsh environment, teaching him that in this world, one must tread carefully and be prepared for anything. Despite all the hardships he's endured, Frank still re uh, retains the caring and kind-hearted nature that drives him to lend a hand when he sees someone suffering. His primary motivation is his family, for whom he's willing to do whatever it takes. Frank has a clear goal, to settle down with his family in a safe environment. Uh, but to achieve this goal, he needs money. He's no stranger to doing illegal work or causing harm to those who stand in his way. Damn. So, we got like a motley crew here. His efforts are driven by his love for his family and his desire for a better life for them. Keep in mind Frank is a character who can show his good side even in the toughest of times. He's always determined to do what's necessary to achieve his goal. Okay. Uh, objectives. Clean up the mess. Pick up all the trash. Ask if anyone needs anything. Put things back where they should be. Got it. Okay. Um. Weird. I think it flashed something whenever I turned around. Uh. How do I... How do I get out of here? Open case? Oh, there we go. Oh. I was in like... I was in like a pod. Weird. Okay. What do we got? Got some supplies. And a drippy drip. Remember, you can only carry one thing in your hand. Okay. Hello? It's loud as shit. First day at this new damn job. I have to admit, I have never had a weird job in my life. A weirder job in my life. It smells awful in here. Hope you're gonna do something about it. Yeah, maybe it's because you're smoking in here. In an enclosed environment. Dickhead. And turn that the fuck down. God. Okay, I can't open that door. Shit! Thomas, hi. What? You can't pass? Oh, so your processor doesn't go crazy because you can't do what you have to do? I was just wondering when you were gonna come out of your shell, you rusty tin can. Look, if you touch me once or don't do what we say, or what I say, you'll see. You're just a robot. Your existence is only for cleaning up. So move along and do your thing. I will murder the shit out of you. I'll take that supple skin and put it on my rusty body. Alright. The door only responds to the second push. Okay. Where do I take the trash? Yeah, where do I where do I take this garbage? Oh, I'm putting trash inside the bag. Got it. There we go. Clean that up. Okay. What happened here? Like, do they have a party? Fire starter. Hey, buddy. Hi, Frank. Oh, hey, how's it going? Never seen a uh, robo a robot with the chromatic abrasion thing that they have going on with the text. Makes it kind of hard to read. Uh, never seen a robot like this anywhere. Uh, it looks awful here and smells bad, but the equipment is good. Oh, sorry if you're offended that I called you equipment. Actually, I've never talked to a robot before. Yeah, and don't worry about those two. If I knew they were going uh, to do something to you, leave it to me. Oh, I know I'm a bad person. No, you, you seem fine so far. Uh, but I do things that aren't good. But I can always talk myself, or talk my way out of it. Fuck, that text is so hard to read for me. I know I'm a bad person. And I do things that aren't good. But I can always talk my way out of it. Okay. Uh, I see that you like to talk. Unfortunately, I disappoint you. I have nothing to talk about. 
Have a nice rest of the day. And remember that even if you are just a machine, you will outlive us one day and discover things that we can no longer do. Okay. Uh, thanks, my man. Thanks for the pep talk. Oh, uh, just realized. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there's a a thing under my base cam. Turn that down. Fuck. Huh. So, where do I put this? Is there like a trash compactor or something? Uh, can I toss it? No? Okay. I like how you can see his giant head shadow right there. Okay, so it's not out there. I gotta figure out how to get rid of this trash bag. Oh, here we go. I just put it on the shelf. That's not very sanitary. Okay, let's clean this up. There we go. Uh, blop. Okay. Nope, not open case. Objectives. Uh, ask if anyone needs anything. Okay. What's up, dickhead? Uh, please get out. I don't like any company I have to make eye contact with for more than a minute. Even if you have, I, if, even if you have any eyes at all. I like to rest after <laughs> all I've seen here. You're still here? So I, I believe that the developer's first language isn't English. Uh, so some of the dialogue is a little like, huh? I have to kind of reread it a few times to make sense of it. Okay, I think we're good. I talked to everybody. That is so fucking loud, my man. Jesus Christ. All right, objectives. End the day. Week one, evening. Okay. So I gotta go through my objectives again and then see if I need to talk to any of them. Which gonna display cameras? Oh, my, my eyeballs. Okay, their status is all fine. What's my objectives? Bring refreshments for all members. Uh, turn off all the lights in the main and sleeping lobbies. Uh, put things back where they should be. Got it. Let's do it. Um. Hello. I'm just gonna do that. Chunk. destroy that radio. It's loud as shit. Hello. I brought your refreshment. Uh, boop. Hey, would you leave that one light on for me so I can, uh, light on for me and I'll turn it off later. I usually have nightmares. I don't feel like sleeping. Fuck you, Richard. Okay. Uh, can I read your notes? No? Okay. Here, let me fix this for you. There we go. Why'd you guys knock your tables over? Alright, there you go. I feel bad for this guy. But Richard wants a light. OK. 
Okay, so I guess I put the extra drinks back here. Okay. Anything in the bathroom I turn off? It's very synthy. Wow. Turn these lights off. Uh, can't turn these off. That's fine. Page one. Dear members of management, we are sending you our first report on our research into the unknown substance. Uh, that we discovered near the facility. So far, we do not have precise information about the nature of this substance, but we are also including the results of our initial tests. The facility has been equipped to conduct experiments aimed at revealing more about this peculiar substance. Our experiments involving or involve studying its effects on subjects in different environments and under various conditions. I wonder if these guys are the test subjects, and I'm the one watching them. <clears throat> Our team's efforts are focused on monitoring the behavior of the substance in different contexts and its reactions to external influences. Attached, you will find a detailed description of the research facility and our current procedures. Interesting. Okay, let's check objectives. All right, that's all done. Uh, end the day. Week two, morning. Yeah, I feel like I feel like they're experimenting on these guys. Like they're gonna test this substance on them. It's probably like in the drinks. Everybody's fine still. Hmm. Objectives: clean up the mess, pick up the trash, ask if anyone needs anything, put things back where they should go. Got it. Oh, they're, they're staying together right now? Okay. Let's get my trash bag. So what, do they just like throw their trash on the ground and expect me to pick it up? Weird. They snap this shut as soon as I get close. And they're like, they all stare at me. Fuck off, you iron walking thing. Wait, you're supposed to be the nice guy. Yeah, he was supposed to be the nice one. Why is he being an asshole now? That's a bummer. So everybody's just gonna be a piece of shit to me. Okay, I still can't go in there. Who broke the fucking toilet? There's like a black goo around it. Hmm. Okay, that's all the trash picked up. All right, got my trusty broom. I can't even clean up my own area. I just clean them up for them. There's six mess piles. Y'all are some fucking slobs. And what does this what does this can say? Tie? Looks like T I E E E.
Okay. I think, I think it's all in here. Cleaning up literal shit. Okay. Um, they already told me to fuck off, so I think that's me asking them, do you want anything? I'm sure they'll want their tasty refreshments later, though. Let's see, objectives. Yeah, so back. Yeah, the blonde one was supposed to be the nice guy. Why are you... Now I have no friends. Hello. There we go. Yeah, it says they're fine, but... He's being a jerk. Week two, evening. There's, yeah, there's got to be something in the in the drinks I'm giving them that makes them behave differently. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, he's an asshole. Recorded disease. Who am I? Yeah, so he's infected with something. Objectives. Uh, refreshments, turn off all the lights, put things back where they should be. Help the injured personnel. Okay. Shit. Can I help you? Richard. Oh, hope I didn't scare you. You did, dick. We got a problem. Frank's not well. Would you take care of him? Thanks. Get out of my room. I don't trust you, my man. Why is it... Why is everything fucked in here? <laughs> what are y'all doing? I was like coughing up blood and green stuff. Hey, buddy. Thanks so much for your help. I know I count on you. I won't be able to do anything for a while, but don't worry, I'll get better. There we go. They were just tearing shit up. Turn you out. Hey, right. drinky poos. Drink your juice, Shelby. Dear members of management, our analysis of the unknown substance has revealed several significant aspects regarding its nature and its impact on subjects in our test. The substance, which we have tentatively labeled as NL-X, is highly variable in response to environmental conditions. Its effects on subjects change based on current uh, natural conditions and other substances uh, present in the subject's body. NL-X can induce various effects, including changes in behavior, physical alterations, and even alterations in perception. It appears that the substance can think and adapt to control the subjects through various obstacles. Uh, attached, you will find detailed results of our tests and analysis. Yeah, so... He became a dick <laughs> after I gave him the juice. What do you want here? I know you'd like to turn the, uh, I know you'd like to turn off all the lights, but give me some drink first, then maybe I'll get out of the way. Okay. Why is an asshole? <laughs> I feel like the sinks are getting bloodier. Maybe not though. It's normal in there. Oh, it's part of the toilet. Okay.
Okay, I think we're good. Night night. Okay, get out of my room. Yeah, I think we're good. Week three, morning. I want to fuck these humans up. I hate them all. They're all rude. Frank is healing. Richard is offline. Is he dead? Damn it, I missed what that said. Shit. Objectives. Clean up. Trash. Ask blah, blah, blah. Okay, so same shit. Got it. Gah. What up? You tin pot bitch. Have you seen Richard? You want to take uh, that thing out? Wait, you want to take that thing over there, huh? If you don't find Richard, I won't let you. Um, oops, <laughs> fuck. All right, also, I just realized my hair is like acting very silly. What is what's this? All right, I'm gonna run through the game again and get back to where I was. I want to try to do at least one run where I don't kill anybody. <laughs> what the fuck? I wasn't expecting his head to explode just because I picked up trash. So I guess like my robot just like slammed his head against the wall so we can get to the garbage. I take my tasks very seriously. I just realized he was holding something. Yeah, he has something like... And he had something in his hand. Uh, hmm. I'm wondering if I should go and turn the lights off. Yeah, what is that liquid, my man? I wonder if he infects him. Weird. Yeah, pardon me wants to just turn that light off. But I won't. I'll just recreate my steps from uh earlier. Okay, here we go. Hello. You tin pot bitch. <laughs> Who's he, Richard? Okay. Uh, can't read that. Let's see. I want to apologize to you, Frank and Thomas, for abandoning you. This place is not right. Something is very wrong. I don't want to be a part of it. So I'd rather uh, run right out without you. I know you're probably already dead, but just in case... You, if you're reading this, I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. I want to apologize to you, Frank and Thomas. Okay, so, same thing. Just pick something up. Uh... Damn, he's fucked. This 
so was he talking about me? What I do? What like what did our robot character do? Uh, I'm scared to do anything. Like I know where he is. Hi. So I have to do it. So I or you started for nothing. Son of a bitch. Where's my broom? There's only one guy left. Oh. He used my broom to clog that up. Well, shit. Now I'm wondering, like, what if I get the broom first? All right. I'm going to restart one more time. Fuck. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm gonna go in here, read the note. Damn, still fucked. What is that? What is this? Go and sweep this up while I'm in here. <laughs> Looks like a piece of wood. Hmm. So, now that I have the broom out and the fan's going again, and I've read the note. I know. <laughs> I think I have to kill him. Which is very disappointing. Like, I want to kill him because he's an asshole, but it's also like there should be a way to not have to. Like, he's not in the bathroom. Yeah, like, I know he escaped. I don't know if I can put the broom down. Oh, do I just put it back in here? Oh, it's part of the fan. Yeah, he broke part of the fan off so he could escape. Got it. He's being so like protective over that trash. And it won't let me put the fan back. Like it wants me to do this. Weird. Yeah, I think I have to smash this dude this dude's head. Buddy, I don't want to hurt you. I do. All right. That's fucked. But at least I tried. I tried to <laughs> not cave that dude's head in. All right, you sleep tight. You're the only one left. Yeah, because I know that, like, if I just continued after caving that dude's head in the first time, I would have gotten comments being like, um, I bet you if you did this, this wouldn't have happened. He's not fine anymore. He is not fine anymore.
week three evening. Let's only have one guy to take care of, though. So I'm wondering, like, what, like, what do I do? Yeah, dead. Unknown. Refreshments. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me... Ugh. Ugh. Oh, my butt. I need a new chair. Oh, my butt. Oh. <laughs> oh. Leave a like for my butt. My poor, flat, achy butt. Huh. Everything's all red and spooky. Yo! You got what you fucking deserved! Mmm, some refreshments. Are you healed? Bug fuck! All healed up, my man? Your eyes are looking really normal. Looking super normal. Jesus, fuck, that got me. That got me really good. Oh, boy, that is... <laughs> You're checking out your own keister. That's good. Do not put your hands on my face. Yeah, Sasa Frank is still unknown. Objectives. Yeah. Alright, open case. Can I take bolt cutters? Hi. Stop. Why can't I pick this up? So if I walk into him, does it kill me? Yep, okay. So I have to... I have to keep my eyes on him. Got it. So I have to do my objectives without taking my eyes off of them. Alright, here we go! Okay. So, boop. And he appears. Boop. Boop. I saw you. There you go, have a refreshment. You'll feel much better in the morning. Oh, jeez. Stop it. I see you. Uh, that may be it. Bitch. Do not corner me in the bathroom. There's something in the in the vents. Do y'all see that? Let's 
close that. All right, objectives. Got to turn off all the lights. Get out of my room! Get out of my fucking room! Yeah, who are you? Okay. Fucking creep. Creep, creep, creep. This is gonna be tough. I might have to lure him out first. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, let's lure him out. <sighs> Fucking weeping angel mechanics. Hello. The head following make it like thing is so weird. Bonk. Bonk. Fuck. Almost touched him. I lock you in there? Will that slow you down at all? Get that one. Damn, you are glowing. Fuck. Get in the tube! What? I tried to outsmart it by turning the lights off first. It backfired. Weak question mark? Everything is failing. Good unknown. Frank is old data. Yeah, mainly switch because I'm not doing that. All right, so I got to do mess, trash, put things back. What the fuck? Yeah, let's... Huh. Shit. Oh, buddy, you're... you're... rotting. Shit. I just have to worry about dickhead following me. As with a heavy heart that we must inform you that our understanding of NL-X and its impact on subjects and personnel remains very limited. 
The substance has proven to be extremely dangerous and unpredictable. We cannot control or monitor it. And uncontrollable mutations are occurring. We are aware that most of the personnel have been infected, and Area B is on lockdown. NL-X continues to challenge our understanding and station safety. It can transform into a gaseous form, which greatly complicates our efforts to contain its spread. We're also attaching detailed test results that show unexpected changes in the substance's behavior and its ability to adapt to circumstances. We sincerely hope that we can find a way to address the cri this crisis and halt further spread of NL-X. Can't open that one. Okay, broom. Can't sweep that up. Can I sweep you up? <laughs> Dickhead. <sighs> I'm so nervous every time I look up. The guy that follows me is going to be around somewhere. Because getting around him was a pain in the ass. In a, in, in a good way, not a, not like a, oh, I hate this kind of way. Okay, can't go that way, can't go that way, so can't open this. Ah, can't open you. So where is he? Like, is he in the vents anywhere? I didn't see anything. Yeah, the eyes that were back there are gone. So I wonder if the guy who escaped, Frank, since he escaped into the vents, I wonder if he like transformed while he was still in there. Okay, end of day. We? Oui. We? Yeah. Yeah, obsolete system. Was not done correctly. Ugh. Oh, even my pod thing. What? I looked up to see the pod. And it's this. Oh, is it like full of water? It's all bubbly in here. Well, damn. That is ends. So, I want to try something. What if I just end each day without doing my objectives? Ah, well, let me. There is one more thing I want to do. Uh, that first night, whenever he's like, hey, leave that light on for me so I can read. I'm going to turn it off and see what happens. Uh, fuck, that's so loud. Yeah, I'll cut to that. Hey, would you leave that light on? Yeah. Uh, no, I won't. Excuse me. Boop. Boop. Turn that off. And then... Ah, uh, he won't let me. Alright. So yeah. That's it. That's the game. 
the ending really confused me. <clears throat> it's like I knew we were in an underwater research labor uh, lab. And I guess like our robot just kept waking up even after everybody was already dead because like nobody came to collect us. And so eventually just the lab filled with water, I guess. Then when I looked up into the pod and showed all those people floating, were those all the other subjects or something? Yeah, really, really confusing ending, but I like the game. Uh, yeah, I liked it. The, like, smashing that dude's head and not having a way around that kind of aggravated me, especially because I restarted a few times trying to get around it. But overall, I liked it. So yeah, if you want to check it out yourself, links in the description. Uh, if you have any recommendations for games to cover, please let me know. <coughs> of course, my voice is given out right as soon as we end the video. Um, yeah. Well, cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like. It really helps. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.